Hey, it's Ocean Sims, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing super well today. I love you. If no one has told you that today, I just want to start the video off with love because let me tell you, the comment section has been bomb lately. I mean, it's always been bomb. You know, it's always been great. You guys always show love, I mean, to each other and to me, like most importantly, like I just, I'm so grateful for you. So I just want to say I love you period point blank just have to start off the video with all this positivity but i'm just super excited because you guys have been making creating so much fun for me lately but uh, also before i jump into this speed build and like talk about it my intros for the next couple videos might be a little wonky i'm doing a little bit of rebranding if you haven't checked out my banner i've changed it like five times within the last couple hours <laughs> but i think i've settled on the right one um it's a really like vintagey feel that i'm really that i was really going for like a retro feel and just really really love it and i think it's perfect for fall which is my favorite season by the way if you didn't know now you know i've already got my pumpkin spice candles don't judge me but uh in fact if you got pumpkin spice candles i want y'all to drop pumpkins in the comments if you love fall if fall is your favorite season just jump just just drop pumpkins below so that people can be so totally confused you know but anyway let me jump into the build before i get completely out of breath this is a small town doctor's office and this was curated because i made a small town doctor i made a sim in real time with you i can go ahead and post that video at the end it'll be on the end screen i absolutely love the way the doctor came out and i just i kind of have a little crush on him i ha have a little tiny crush on him he's so hot but yeah if you haven't checked that out check it out but i love henford on bagley um someone just beeped their horn out there i don't know what that was but I love Henford on Bagley. The world is stunning. I feel like the builders and creators that, you know, built in this world did a great job. But EA still made The Sims, you know? And so while I love the villagers and I feel like it has tons of lore, I just feel like, you know, we have a grocery store owner. I wanted more basic characters like that in the game. So I made a doctor. And I love the idea of this because this lot is actually a residential lot this is the doctor's office so if you sprained your ankle if you're feeling a little under the weather if you have a slight fever you may come here a yearly checkup this world is not heavily populated you know so if you do have a major emergency like you're bleeding to death you're gonna want to call 911 you might have to you know wait a little bit like nothing really happens happens here but if something does happen like that you would have to go to a hospital out in the city as opposed to the small doctor's office like they are not equipped to handle big emergencies you know what I mean so that is why it kind of looks like a house because here where I live there are like chiropractors um horoscope readers or zodiac like tarot card readers and stuff like that that actually work in places that look like regular houses but they're actually offices so that's kind of where i base the um, thought process of this lot so it's not a community lot so if you want to visit the doctor and then you would basically just go to his house and visit him and hopefully he would be home um you can always change this to whatever type of lot type you want but that's just what i intended it for so that this still kind of feels like home and truth be told he can live here comfortably because in the inside he has like a refrigerator there's beds inside let me just tell you with the small space that i had i didn't know how i was going to pull this off but i love it so much so um one of my favorite things to do when a building is like landscaping now I felt like I did a really good job with that. The inside of this house, though, <laughs> hopefully you guys don't hear my computer fans blowing. You might. I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. The inside of this house was so hard to create a layout for. I really didn't think I was going to be able to do it because it's so small. And whenever I, I build, I like small lots. But whenever I build small, I have no idea where to put things. So it's really tight in here. But for some like some odd way it just it works it works like just wait till you see the final product i don't know how i managed to make it work there are a total of two bathrooms in here and three rooms two rooms for patients with a bed and there's like a consultation type room if you don't need like you know the bed you just have like a little chair type of thing there's a decent size waiting room and a decent size little office for the nurse or whatever like you could even add a nurse in this household and um have them like permanently work in the little office nook that i kind of created it is so 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 cute i cannot believe i pulled this off i sound happy because i am happy because I just can't believe I pulled it off, you know? Like, you could literally turn this into a house, too. Like, a three-bedroom house. Make it a little kitchen and everything. Like, it's it's so much. It's just the possibilities are endless. So, I love it. Anyway, one thing that I really wanted to say was being that Cottage Living came out, you know, 
I'm a fan of cottage living. I love it a lot, but I tried to steer away from some of the items that came with it because I didn't want it to look so overwhelmingly like fairy cottage. I couldn't use any of the wallpapers from the cottage living expansion. So you know where I went to? I was like, Brindleton Bay. Brindleton Bay, cats and dogs. The cats and dogs expansion has um, has these beautiful like wood panel walls that give a classic feel just like cottage living, but they're not like, you know, bunnies and fairies or whatever on the <laughs> bunnies and stuff on the walls and stuff. That was just way too childish for me for a doctor's office, but I love the way this came out. So I actually ended up using a lot of like cats and dog assets. It came out really nice. A lot of boring base game assets look really nice in here i actually believe that's a realm of magic fireplace i apologize if you don't have that pack um before like one thing that would make me kind of scared to build is the fact that like i would want my builds to be accessible to everybody um and it kind of sucks because like not everyone has all the packs and not everyone has like over a thousand dollars to like spend on these packs you know what i mean to buy every single stuff pack like what if you include a decor item that comes from a stuff pack that like no one has you know like a lot of people don't buy what is it isn't it like not even stuff packs even game packs like what if i use a floor from journey about to like it's so unfair you know because <laughs> then not everyone can download it but sometimes it limits my creativity because i do own all the packs so if i don't explore with these items or just do what i want then it kind of makes it hard hard for me because I'm not that skilled of a builder yet so I know that this build has a lot of packs I know that it includes a lot and I really apologize in advance um hopefully I didn't use too much but again it's nothing that you can't easily substitute because it's a really small lot you know nothing too crazy and I'm not someone that likes to clutter up builds too too much I love clutter but I just don't like using too much because I just it just clouds the crowds not clouds <laughs> it just crowds my build and I already just, it's already kind of stuffed and cramped in here. But here is the little like nurses or what would I say? Medical assistant type of area. I didn't even know what I was going for, but it just came together while I was doing it. Um, I would love to, for you guys, you guys to even try to make your own like doctor's office like for this world. You know, I feel like that could be a challenge, the doctor office challenge. Now I'm just kidding. I'm just, now I'm just rambling. But I added a little refrigerator from Discovery University. It really brought things to life because it like maybe you could have, um, medicine in there that needs to be refrigerated or it could just be everyone's <laughs> everyone's lunch break food i don't know it could be whatever you want but i love it also this pack uses a lot of get to work items um the doctor really is in the doctor career i made dr clifford a doctor in that career so if you download him he should already be in the career because i wanted him to like really really fill that role you know um so i used a lot of the get to work items which get to work is kind of like um it was our first expansion and it sucked because <laughs> let me stop it didn't it didn't suck um i love all of the careers and i love the thought process of that pack but it just just like anything we think of in the sims 4 it could be better you know but i won't lie to you i did use a lot of assets from this pack uh from that pack so it really came in handy here as far as creating a doctor's office with no custom content you know it definitely was um it definitely was possible because of that pack as far as the beds i wanted to use like one of the cottage living beds but again i didn't want a cottage living this place out i really wanted to just feel realistic which is little hints and little bits of little sprinkles of cottage living so we did use some discovery university beds kept it really plain and simple um i love that one of the rooms actually has a bathroom in the room so if you have a patient that may have to stay overnight or so they can have their own private bathroom so that they can be monitored and they can just take their own private shower and stuff there so it's really nice um and then let's see oh yeah the other room is just a really like small nice regular room I, I i have to be honest with you one of my favorite things to furnish is bathrooms because they're so easy you just throw in a toilet and everything you can add like minimal decor and i don't know it's just one of the quickest things for me to do when i'm making a house or just like furnishing whatever for my sims i just throw whatever in the bathroom it's just it's so easy you know to furnish a bathroom but all the other parts of the house are just like i really have to think about it you know um but here is the little like consultation room where the doctor might sit with you and take your vitals before you head back to a room if you have to go further than that um you might sit here to go over test results even um here i'm adding in small details a little fire extinguisher i love the little file cabinet that i added near like the nurse's station it's so like it just adds a really nice touch again get to work it's just it's really nice um 
all the details in here, I feel like were just enough. And I think I'm going to be placing this lot, hopefully, I do not forget, in my Bandari Bunch LP, which is like, it's not a cottage living LP because there's like so many of them that I didn't want to do that. So it's just like the Bandari Bunch, but they do live in Hinford on Bagley now and they're about to have a baby <laughs> and i just feel like it'd be really nice for them to i mean honestly Varsha being pregnant from that let's play if you haven't watched it by the way just check it out i'll have it linked at the end <laughs> you already know but her being pregnant and me having to make a thumbnail for that video of her realizing she was pregnant is what kind of ignited the idea of me making a doctor so i definitely want to place this in that world and i hope i don't forget so i may have to do that right after i'm done filming this voiceover for you but um I don't know who knows what other kind of builds we'll come up with right and the in in the rest of this year i would have never thought i'd make a doctor's office you know that's that's not even like me you know and for it to come out the way that it came out like what <laughs> and um oh yeah by the way this is going to be in finchwick in the center of the town only makes sense you know and it is what else what else can i tell you about this build i don't know <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you about this building except for that I love it and I added small little details, little hand soap and napkins and what have you. It's a really nice thing. If you're just a storyteller like me and you just want the world to feel real, definitely just plot this in your game. I want to see your screenshots in it. I want to see how you feel about it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this build, please don't forget to let me know in the comments. I literally love all of your feedback and I always appreciate it. But um, here I'm adding more details on the outside, little lights and everything. Gosh, it came out so nice. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> like, can we just can we just clap in the comments for me really quick? I don't know why. I'm just really really proud of myself with this build and i hope you guys um don't mind me just like kind of hyping myself up for a little bit because out of all the builds i've done i've just never explored like something like this before and i really really liked it so i hope you enjoyed this if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and i will see you guys in the next video stay tuned for the screenshots at the end and i hope you guys have a really cool day cool rest of your day i guess anyway i love you guys peace out